Hello and welcome to the Marbella International Film Festival. I'm Maria and today I'm speaking to you from the Hotel Lacrimar, part of the Sisu Group here in Porto Venus and the official home of the Marbella Film Festival. The Marbella Film Festival takes place during the first week of October right here in the beautiful city of Marbella on the Costa del Sol in the Andalusia region of Spain. With its beautiful beaches, historic old town, and the fun and glamour of Puerto Venus, Marbella is the perfect setting for this highly anticipated event on the Costa del Sol social calendar. Each year, talented filmmakers and industry professionals come together to collaborate and celebrate some of the latest work produced in their field. It has been very difficult for the judges to select only 50 or so films to be screened in Marbella this year. Especially considering that in 2009, the festival received over 600 films from 52 countries. Covering a wide range of subject matter and presented as features, shorts, documentaries and animations, the films presented in Marbella offer an astonishing array of choices for film lovers from all over the world. This year, we are especially delighted to welcome Mr. William Shatner as our festival guest. Mr. Shatner will formally open the festival with the European premiere of his latest film, Gonzo Ballet. William Shatner's Gonzo Ballet is a relatively avant-garde documentary that chronicles the quest to create a new ballet based upon Mr. Shatner's critically acclaimed album, Has Been. Ben Folds produced the music for Has Been, and famed choreographer Margot Sappington created the ballet. Gonzo Ballet is an aesthetically beautiful piece that seamlessly unifies classical dance and contemporary music in our own postmodern culture. Like you. Well, what else could I do? I said, I'll see what I can do. I took her to a supermarket. I don't know why, but I had to start it somewhere. So it started there. The hard-hitting documentary American Faust from Condi to Neo Condi tells the real story of one of the key figures during the Bush administration, former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. An extraordinary but little understood woman, Condoleezza Rice rose from segregated Alabama to become one of the world's most powerful women. This political and biographical documentary tells a Faustian story of a woman whose hubris destroyed her core values and brought her to a perilous pursuit of power. Incisive in and shocking, the, right the film overturns the popular misconception of Rice as a yes woman to President Bush to reveal her as his most enduring confidant and thus responsible for much of the Bush legacy. She prays every day. She goes to church regularly. She believes that God has set forth a plan. I've never doubted the existence of God. Another documentary to be featured at this year's Marbella Film Festival includes Spain's own Elogio al Horizonte, which tells the tragic story of the lives children led during the Spanish Civil War. Many families decided then to send their children abroad to safer places. Yo, ahora que soy madre, me doy cuenta cuánto pasaría aquella mujer para ver marchar los cuatro hijos. Other featured documentaries include China Power from China, Glass House from Iran, and Happy Hooker from Holland. Feature films to be screened at the 2009 Marbella Film Festival include Academy Award-nominated Ruby Blue, in which British actor Bob Hoskins plays a widower rediscovering love with his mysterious French neighbor, when he's suddenly accused of being a pedophile as the locals begin unfounded gossip after an eight-year-old girl goes missing. You coming in? No, not today. It's local kids. A sick joke. Stacy's mum's gonna look after her. Come on, Florrie. Based on a true story, Ramchand Pakistani is an Indian film about an eight-year-old Pakistani Hindu boy who accidentally crosses into India's border and the catastrophic consequences this seemingly simple accident brings upon the child, his father, and his mother. Other feature films you won't want to miss this year include Heavy Sand and SSD, both hailing from Russia, Hyde and Sisterhood from the UK, and The Long Weekend from Canada. 
The Marbella Film Festival is also delighted to be screening three films by critically acclaimed Japanese director Hiroshi Toda. Mr. Toda's films to be featured this year include Memory of September, Summer Trip, and Sky in December. As always, short films will account for some of the best work screened at the Marbella Film Festival. Amongst the many films scheduled for screening this October, I must take a moment to mention Academy Award nominee The Morse Collectors. Set in Ireland during the Second World War, two children are forced to walk a fine line between responsibility and childhood fantasy. In the dripping taps and ticking clocks of their home, they discover hidden Morse code messages. But while the young boy is all too keen to accept them as real, his elder sister struggles with the rationale of her increasingly adult mind. Moreover, she understands something of the consequences of the messages. For if the messages are real, who sent them and why? and you move the alphabet to 11 places left, like this. There. D-A-V-I-X. David? A mistake, I suppose. It happens a lot. I'm not stupid. You made that up. I didn't. Go and listen. Then you'll see. Plop, 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 plop. The film Dennis from Denmark by Mads Mathieson and Martin Zendliet and featuring Colt, Elizabeth Steentoff and Luxan Michelson is a touching story about a big man with a big heart. When Dennis, a big muscular bodybuilder, invites one of the local girls out on a date, his mother gets hurt and disappointed. Despite the pressure she puts on him to cancel the date, Dennis leaves out into a night he will never forget. Thank you, Dr. Dreger. So, like, training. Spanish filmmakers have contributed some of the most outstanding shorts to be featured this year. Amongst these outstanding short films is Martin Crespo's Volver a Verte. In Volver a Verte, two young girls who fall in love with one another are forced down very different paths as adults. Years later, they reconnect and struggle to maintain their love and bond, as well as their basic rights as human beings. Volver a Verte is a touching story about the ties that bind us to one another in a world that can threaten to sever them. Antonio, tenemos que hablar. Tenemos que hablar. Cada uno quiero. Tenemos que hablar. Quiero estar tranquilo. Ya sé de qué me va a hablar. Ya te lo voy a poner fácil, ¿verdad? Vamos a salir un ratito, anda. Pero no quiero ni un marido en la calle, ¿vale? ¿Eh? Amongst the many other great Spanish films to be featured at the 2009 Marbella Film Festival are En el Apartamento and The Deal. Shorts having been submitted to the festival and only a limited number available for screening as finalists, the festival directors have decided to offer screening to some of their favorite shorts as part of the festival's Fringe program. Fringe program's short film screens offer filmmakers the opportunity to screen their films out of competition during the festival. The short film screens allow for networking opportunities for filmmakers and industry professionals to collaborate and is a crucial part of the Marbella Film Festival's commitment to providing an international platform for independent cinema. Another exciting aspect of the Marbella Film Festival is its annual Marbella 24-Hour Film Challenge. During this fast-paced movie-making marathon, filmmakers, along with their cast and crew, are presented with the challenge of writing, directing, shooting, editing, and producing a three to four minute film with a given prompt in only 24 hours. The atmosphere is intense and the competition is fierce. But last year, a myriad of filmmakers produced some outstanding work, and with a flood of applicants from all over the world this year, I can only imagine the work will be even better. The films will be screened as part of the Marbella International Film Festival and judged with the best film receiving the coveted Marbella 24-Hour Film Challenge Award. Like I mentioned, applications for this year's 24-Hour Film Challenge have been numerous. So if you'd like to be a part of this event, be sure to register online at MarbellaFilmFestival.com as soon as possible. In the heart of the Spanish Riviera, with some of the year's best independent cinema scheduled for screening, fashion shows and live performances, parties and premieres, and a highly anticipated award ceremony, the Marbella Film Festival offers every kind of experience for every kind of visitor. Until then, hasta luego.